Welcome back. We've told you about the accolades Steve Crump earned for his exceptional reporting and documentaries, but he always made time to let loose and have some fun too. Take a look. Let me show you what's happening down on Franklin Street here. It is just an insane scene here. You got signs, what's the saying, cut the next. You go all the way down to the top of the hill here. We have found folks from Charlotte and even in as much, they are dancing in the street right now. It has been just an amazing night. And you talk about the way things are going. I got the goods here, folks. Here it is, hot off the breath. National Championship T-shirt. We got you. You can imagine things are going to be going on for quite a while. <laughs> now that was a live shot, folks. Uh, in 2019, Steve also threw out the ceremonial first pitch at the Charlotte Knights game. Here he is at the mound, making sure to check first and third, hold those runners close, blowing a sweet kiss at his wife Kathy, then the wind up in the pitch. After that, they gave him a jersey of his own. Steve went behind the scenes of comedian Steve Harvey's show, and we had one question to ask him. As far as keeping it real, we both have the same first name. We both probably get our hair cut at the same place. You have a mustache, I have a mustache. You're 57, I'm 57, but I don't have your swagger. So, so, so how do we work on that? How do you know, you were out here earlier and... That ain't gonna happen, sir. <laughs> so, I don't know what to tell you, Steve. It's just... It's a work in progress, my brother. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, it's too much for me sometimes. <laughs> Everything is better with bacon. So we basically take the bacon. Yeah, everything's better with bacon, too. He's not wrong. Uh, here he is in our QC Life Studios. Steve made his famous foiled salmon. The best part, we all got a bite of it. We can tell you right now, folks, 10 out of 10. Through his storytelling, Steve traveled across the world, met people remembered by history, and earned awards and acclaim. But he never wanted us to forget where he came from. Here at Historic Churchill Downs in Louisville, Kentucky, they've been running the Kentucky Derby for more than 140 years.